Here we have the Aquabot Smart Fish by Hexbug. This is a battery powered toy that actually can swim in water. It's actually activated by going into the water and will swim and dive and swim realistically. All you need is a container. I've got a glass Pyrex dish from the kitchen and some water and the fish. The fish already comes with the batteries necessary for it to play out of the box. So let's get this thing open in water and let's see it swim. Okay, let's just pop the fish in, but just before I do, I want to point out there's, I think, another little sensor here, one on the right, and flip them over on one on the left. Now my fingers are slightly wet because I've had the fish in the water already to test it, but when I cover those two connections, I'll make a little circuit because my hands are wet. There's a conductivity through my thumb and my index finger, and that circuit, mi micro voltage is enough to detect and trigger the actual motor. So what's actually happening is, and if I let go of those two areas, there's no voltage of course, and so the circuit's broken and the fish stops flapping its tail. So it's a really quite simple way that it detects whether it's in water or not, and that's basically by making a small circuit. You can also see some other details on the back here, how the actual tail works. It's got two electromagnets, very small electromagnets at the very, very back. And obviously by alternating the charge into each side, it's able to draw the metal hole that's on the end of the tail in and out of each magnet on each side and that little motion there is enough to make it flip and flap so let's pop him in so you can see this yourself so he's already connected made a circuit and he's off flapping his fins just just about below the water level now so let's just see whether that uh, rises or sinks any further so you get the idea whether it dives or not and you can see the tail flaps and it's got different modes sometimes it flaps fast sometimes slow there's about three different flap speeds and styles that I've noticed. Now the bowl it's in is not particularly large, it's only just over eight or so inches across from the very top. Let's just pop the tape measure in there just so you can see. So about 21 centimetres, just about eight and a quarter inches across. So it's not particularly big and it's only got a, a real traditional bowl shape to it. So it's probably not the best shape or size for the fish. I'd say it needs something bigger than this, maybe 10, 12 inches, maybe even a actual goldfish bowl, a proper goldfish bowl or a fish tank. Funnily enough, this would do very well in a fish tank. So um, obviously because of the size and it's round, his head, and you can hear the ringing, is hitting the side of the walls and it's uh, making the fish go round in a circle. Now, okay, it's just having a good little flap now. So every now and then if you observe the fin, it's sometimes slightly more proud of the water and slightly more under the water. So it seems to be slightly nose heavy. And when it's having a good flip like that, it's usually going downwards slightly. So that's where I think most of it's diving and uh, the buoyancy then of course returns a little bit more noticeable when it's flipping less and the fin comes slightly higher. It's not very noticeable in this because it's not a very deep bowl and it's not a very big bowl. But, uh, but I've had quite a few uh, fun moments already with my little goldfish. Now, just to show you that it can go the other way around and it is really constrained purely by the bowl and it's not uh, got a bias to running clockwise or anti-clockwise. There it is doing exactly the same the other way around. Just went a little bit deeper there and he's just come up a little bit. So very much um, a electronic pet. To be honest, if it wasn't making the ringing noise, so if this was maybe um, a plastic bowl as opposed to a glass bowl, then I think you wouldn't notice this was actually an electronic pet unless you actually looked at it more closely. I think it's a, especially this orange one, this goldfish style one, it's, uh, it's really mimicking a fish in water very well. Um, it's got to have two LR44 batteries in it, which is already included, so it already comes in the box ready to go. And um, it uh, will run for five minutes unattended like this before it then turns itself off, so it would deactivate and just float on the uh, on the near the surface and you can easily grab it by the by the rear fin um, otherwise it will stop when you take it out of the water because of course that circuit I was explaining earlier will be broken so let's just grab its fin and uh, yank him out let's just try and grab it he's gone underwater just as I wanted to grab him come on there we go nope he's going under he's being awkward so once it's uh, dry out of the water and those two contacts there on the side aren't connected he quite happily stops. So there we have our little robo fish. And I'm going to uh, pop him on the side and just quickly show you what else was in the box. So inside the box was 
uh, very set of simple instructions, telling you how to change the battery, telling you how it works, explaining how the Hexbug Aquabot works and all the various instructions on the back which you don't really need to read. It really is as simple as once you've got about the packaging, cut the almost invisible elastic band that holds them securely in the packaging out and literally drop them in water and straight away he just works out of the box. So it's a really good instant play and that in a bathtub with a kid in bath time would be great fun. A couple of those could be fantastic. It's very cheap at the moment, especially if you buy the version like I did to where it's standalone without the bowl. And uh, to be honest, there's plenty of opportunity to have water in the summer in the bath, as well as the fish tank idea in the bedroom. And I think this could be a really good fun pet for a kid. A couple of these in a bowl, and you've got yourself um, a fun little party, whether you want to actually have the whole fish castle and the treasure chest at the bottom of the sea scene going on or not, that's totally up to you and your, your child's imagination. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to like, subscribe and comment.